Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you monitoring effects in Reaper. Now, the idea of monitoring effects is to put effects on what we hear, but it's just for playback. It's not going to be recorded that way. So if we render our tracks with monitoring effects on them, we're not going to hear those effects. We can just monitor them during playback. Now you're probably thinking, why would you want this? Well, there are a few reasons as we'll go through in a bit, but let me first show you how to turn this on. If we go to our menu, under view, right over here is our monitoring effects. If we choose that, a dialog opens up where we can add effects. So let's put an EQ on our mix. Right here, let's play the track and EQ it a bit. So we could hear that effect through our speakers, but if we were to print this mix or render it, this effect wouldn't be on there. Now a common use for this is for tuning your room. Let's delete this. Let's add another plugin. I downloaded a few from this company here, Math Audio. One's called the Room EQ, which we could use to tune our room. We can measure it right here. Then we could use the Room EQ to adjust for our room. Now, personally, I'm not a big fan of this kind of software. I prefer to learn my room and learn my monitors or my speakers. But if you do want to use this, this is the place to do it in monitoring effects. There's another plugin right here, which is supposed to be used if you're mixing on headphones. You can create a curve to adjust for mixing in headphones. And if you want to use that, that plugin should be used here as a monitoring effect. So everything we do here isn't going to be printed or rendered with our final mix, but we will hear it through our speakers or our headphones so we can make adjustments based on what we're hearing. Now, monitoring effects shouldn't be confused with our master track effects. If we go to the view menu, we can choose our master track. All of our tracks in our project go to this track. So if you have plugins on it, like I do here, I have a compressor, an EQ, and a limiter, all these effects are gonna be printed in our final mix. So that's the difference between our master effects and our monitoring effects. Also, our master effects are based on each project, where monitoring effects are global. So if we start a new project right here, if I go to the master track, there's no effects on here. But if we go to the monitoring effects right here, the plugin we had on the last project is still there because monitoring effects are global. So as we go from project to project, it's still gonna be there because it's based on your system, not each project, which makes sense if you're always mixing with headphones or if you're tuning your room right here. You can go from project to project and the monitoring effects stay the same. Now, if you notice up in this right corner, we can see that we're using monitoring effects. See it's green up here. Now we only see this tab if the tab window is open. So if we close this project right here, we don't see it up here anymore. We can change that behavior. Let's make a new tab again by right-clicking up here and choose Always Show Project Tabs. Now if that's selected, even if we close this one, we're still going to see a project tab here and we'll still see that we have monitoring effects turned on because it's green. If we got rid of this one, it turns back to gray. And we could also use this to bypass it. So let's add this back in and we could choose right here to the right of it to bypass it. If you want to hear the difference. But if we don't want that tab always up there, just right click up here and turn this back off. And now we don't see it. But we can get back to it either here 
from the menu, or we could also go to our master track, go to the effects, but instead of just clicking it, which opens our master effects, we could shift click it, it opens up our monitoring effects. So that's another way to get here. Now, being that I'm not a fan of these type of plugins, let me show you what I do use monitoring effects for. Let's clear this. I really like to use it for metering. So let's add some metering plugins, like this meter here. Again, it's on globally. So if we create a new project right here, if we go to this project or this project, we always have that meter. Let's add another one. An analyzer meter right here. And again, it's always gonna be on in all our projects. Let's add a few more. I kinda like this one. So we can see how wide the signal is. Left and right. And we could also add VU meters right here. And again, they're always gonna be on every project. Now, one other thing I wanna show you that can be very useful is we can add a volume adjustment to a monitoring. Let's say you don't have the ability on your interface to control the volume, or your power amp doesn't have a volume control, we can just add one to the monitoring effects. Let's add one here. I'm gonna clear this and type in blue. And we could add this one, which is a free gain plugin from Blue Cat Audio. Let's choose stereo, and it looks like this. And now we can control the level of our monitoring right from here. And where it really gets interesting is we can control this from a MIDI fader or knob or an OSC controller. Let's go up here to learn. And right here, we can move a knob or a MIDI fader on a MIDI controller or a keyboard. I'll do that now. And now that's gonna control the volume for our monitoring. Let's turn this off here. We don't need this. Hit okay. Now if I move that knob, on my keyboard, I can control the monitoring level. Even if this window is closed. And again, once we set this up, it's gonna work in every project. So if we go to this one, it's still here and it can still be controlled by that knob. So that's pretty much it. That's monitoring effects in Reaper. I hope you learned something, I hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mm -hmm.